that top left. I love my cardi to death. How you doing, those little X? If you don't say it direct, I give a fuck. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys, last day in Vegas. I promised you guys I was gonna ride the e-scooter on the Las Vegas Strip. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I brought up the Varla Pegasus. It's a dual 500 watt e-scooter. It goes like 30 miles per hour. It should be more than enough speed for the Las Vegas Strip, okay? I was going to take it out last night, but to be honest, I've been having so much fun on this trip and it's a lot of drunk drivers. I didn't want to get killed. So this is the best I could do for you guys today. We got Tiana, got the car cam and uh, yeah, we're going to get on the road. All right, here we go. Woo we are on the Las Vegas Strip, guys. This is how you live life, guys. This is exactly how you do it. Now, the craziest thing is if I get a ticket, <laughs> that would be crazy. Gonna be zooming out so fast. For real, I'm about to get out on them. Let's see if you can keep up with me. Oh yeah, we're speeding. We're on the strip with it. Let's go. Let's go. Got Tiana behind us. Woo -hoo -hoo, we are moving. Oh, let's go. I did look it up, by the way, online to see if it was legal to ride a scooter on the Las Vegas Strip. And they said you could ride e-bikes and bikes, so I'm pretty sure you could ride a scooter. Hey, I was moving, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> I was trying to keep up with you. You can't keep up with this, dog. As long as I stay with Tiana, I should be good. As long as she stays behind me. I might lose Tiana. Oh, we're in the middle of traffic with it. Let's go. Let's go. She can't even keep up with us. We're gonna have to pull over. Oh, she's right with us. Look at her. I thought I thought I left you. We got the Bellagio fountains over there. This is sick. I'm about to dip out on her. Here we go. Woo! Oh yeah, people probably looking at me like you're crazy as hell, but little do they know I got my wife behind me. So there's the Caesars Palace right there. We got Flamingo, old ass hotel. Dude, this is sick. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Me. Get like him. Best e-bike YouTuber to do it, you feel me? Ain't nobody on his level. <laughs> You saw there that police officer? Yeah. You think you gonna try to get me? No. We almost at the end. Yeah. I'm doing it. Full, full we out here. Yeah. Keeping up with the flow of traffic with ease. With ease. Woo! Got Tiana still behind me. Old people are like, what the hell are you doing? Construction zone. Woo. Perfect. And that's how you do it. That's how you ride the Las Vegas Strip on the e-scooter, guys. Let's go. That was dope. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys in the next scene. That was fun. I know you guys had fun too. Hit that like button. Who's doing it like this? Nobody. That's what I told him. Nobody. I told him. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Supposedly I got a guy coming uh, to look at the High Boy electric scooter. That's the lower powered one. It only goes like 20 miles per hour. I was using that scooter. It was working fine, but to be honest with you, I really don't need it. But you know what I do need? Money. <laughs> so today we're gonna sell this scooter, hopefully. It should be pulling up any second now, so I'm gonna take it out. You guys get to see my salesman skills. Tell me how I do, guys. Let's see if we can make a deal. What I really wanna do today is customize this electric XP light 
I ended up uh, getting all the BMX stuff that I ordered from Source BMX. So I want to do that at some point today, but it's just way too hot. It's like 90 something degrees. So I might wait till it cools down. The dude said he wanted to test drive it. So I don't trust people. So I'm going to take this out there with it. This doesn't go that fast, but I don't want to bring out something better in the Hina you know, one in that because this is the only thing that I'm going to sell today. This is about to be a struggle. Here we go. Dude, it is way too hot to be doing all this, okay? <laughs> it should be pulling up any second. Hurry your ass up. I'm trying to go inside, it's too hot. Hey, how's it going? So here's a scooter. Um, I don't know if you looked it up. Did you um, kind of look yeah, at the specs and it. stuff? Yeah, it's, it's like 500 it's watt, yeah, goes 20 brand. miles per hour. Let's see how he likes it. It's nice and smooth. It does have suspension on the back. So it, so it, you'll feel it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Hold on, let me just. So you got other stuff for kids too, huh? Yeah. So this, I got this one up too for sale. How much is that one? It folds there, and then this little clip will clip onto this hook right here. Awesome, bro. Super tight. Yeah, I've been looking at scooters since he got, I got on his, and I'm like, damn, I want one, bro. Yeah. But, uh, so he has that Barlow one? He has that. The, bro, that motherfucker. Go. I don't know if the camera was picking it up, but he was talking about the Barlow Pegasus and that he freaking loved that scooter. <laughs> he doesn't even know that I have one. There's the manual. Ooh, I need to organize this garage. This dude's about to go crazy when he sees this Barlow. <laughs> you think he's going to want a refund once he sees this? <laughs> it's too late now. It's no refunds, guy. <laughs> Woo! This thing is freaking fast as hell. What is that? It's the barley you were talking about. No way. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, the whole time you're talking about the scooter I got. I just let him hop on the scooter. Watch he freaking steals it. Let's get his license plate before he freaking steals my freaking scooter. That would be a nice hustle though. Go to buy the cheap scooter and then steal the barley. Textbook. This dude is nowhere to be seen, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. Shaking in my boots. We have more people offering us money for the scooter we just sold. Too late, Christina. Look at it. Woo! All right, brother. All right, take it easy, man. Drive safe. All right, we're back home. I am sweating my balls off. I'm about to go back inside, cool down, and maybe pop out later. And we're gonna BMX this electric light. All right guys, it's time to BMX this electric light. As you guys can see, the color choice that I went with is purple, okay? Your boy got some purple tires. I got these black BMX bars. Got these purple grips. Got these purple pedals. And I got a purple stem. Say goodbye to this ugly stem, okay? This bike is about to go through a complete transformation. Here we go. For the pedals, we're gonna use a 15 millimeter wrench. So for the left pedal, in order to loosen it, we're gonna go clockwise. Boom. And in order to tighten this one, we're just gonna go counterclockwise. And then on the right hand side, in order to loosen it, you have to go counterclockwise. <clears throat> And then to tighten the pedal, you have to turn it clockwise on the right side. The next step is eliminating this ugly giraffe stem. And we're about to replace it with those dope BMX bars over there. First, we gotta put on this BMX stem. All you need to do is fold down these bars right here, pop down. And then you're gonna look inside this part right there. What you need to do is take off this little rubber cap right here. Boom. All right, next you're going to get an Allen wrench and you're going to loosen this bolt. Once that's loose, you want to loosen these bolts right here on the side. All right, once those are nice and loose, the bar should be able to spin without the tire moving. Check it out. Hey, 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 hey. That means that you can lift this up and off. 
But actually, no, you can't because you need to fully unloosen this bolt. <laughs> I'm doing all this one-handed. You know how we do. There we go. Pop it up and off. Ooh, easy. Look at that little nub right there. Shout out to all my amputees. We're gonna place this stem right on top. Easy. We're gonna go back and get this piece right here. And we're going to place it right in this tube and we're gonna tighten that all the way down, okay? Ooh, it's super greasy. Now, if you guys wanna get creative, you can find these, like some pretty cool colors on Amazon but we're just gonna go with the stock one for now. You wanna tighten this all the way down because what this is doing, because this is a threadless setup, this is compressing this whole unit together, right? This is not a threaded system. So by tightening this all the way down, it's gonna compress it all together so it won't be all jerky when you hit your brakes pretty much. All right, once you tighten that down, you wanna tighten these two bolts, depending on which stem you got. Sometimes they're on the same side, but mine are on opposite ends, righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. <laughs> Shout out to all the guys that's already done it before me. I'm not trying to be the first guy to do it. This is not a competition. I like seeing all you guys' work and creativity. And if you guys want to show me you guys' bikes, definitely hit me up. I got my Instagram. Well, actually, I don't have my Instagram. It's still hacked. But um, you can hit me up on Facebook. Ugh. Here's the bars. So what we're going to do is set the bars on top. And then we're gonna set this top piece right on top. It's super simple, okay? You guys don't need my help with this one, okay? You guys can do it on your own. All right, check it out. Already changed the whole look of the bike. Oh my God, and look at that purple with that tan. Yes! Next step is to take all these components off this ugly handlebar right here and put them on these beautiful handlebars right here, okay? Super easy, Allen bolt, tiny Allen bolt soapy water screwdriver or allen bolt allen bolt another allen bolt another allen bolt soapy water it's super easy guys i don't know if you guys can tell but these are street tires and once i put those on i'm not going to be able to take this bike off road and I think I want to take it off road one last time. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to take it off road, see how she rides with the BMX bars, and then we'll switch to the street tires. That's going to completely transform the look. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking it so far, though. Looks nice and aggressive. Put you somewhere where no one can find you. Mansion on the streets with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. One thing I will say is that it definitely changes the whole feel of the bike. All right. Definitely feel more in control. Now, one thing to note is that your handlebars will be a little bit lower than the stock ones. Shouldn't be a problem for me, but I know some of you guys have back issues, so just be aware of that. All right. Here we go. Let's go have some fun. Guys, look, I'm riding the hell out of this bike. Check out the bars. <laughs> I need to tighten these bolts down because they are coming forward, guys. Jeez. I'm having way too much fun out here. All right, guys, I'm about to go back home, fix these bars, and I think I'm going to call it a day. Today was fun. Just wanted to get one last off-road ride with this bike. But, um, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be street from here on out. I still haven't come up with a name for her. I know you guys were suggesting Sandy, but to be honest with you, I feel like that's like the first go-to name for this bike because the color is sandstorm you know i don't want to have a name that everybody else has so i think one other person said leticia like light in leticia that was pretty creative but um 
keep giving me suggestions i haven't made up my mind yet but uh yeah this bike deserves a name definitely also quick update with the stems they are officially in california i had to pay a freaking huge import fee dude this is my first time doing all this stuff and i didn't even know about it so that came out of nowhere dude it was like over 500 dollars. so i'm just warning you guys now <laughs> The price of the stems is going to be a little expensive. Now that they're cleared through customs, they should be here any day. I'm hoping next week. And um, just working on the website, got to get the pre-order up. Once we do that, I'll make a video and let you guys know that you guys can purchase it. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. We'll see how it goes. Guys, guess what? We have a sponsor for today's video. Today's sponsor is Amp Rides USA. They are an e-bike company that specializes in top of the line folding e-bikes, okay? These things are not the run of the mill electric bikes that we see all the time, all right? These things have quality components. I'm talking hydraulic brakes. These things are super fast too. I actually got to review one last year and that thing was going past 30 miles per hour throttle only. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys wanna check it out. But today they sent me a care package of a whole bunch of accessories so um let's go through it and see what we got first thing that we have looks like a little bag like a rack bag maybe to put on your rear rack the only bike that i have currently that has a rear rack is my espinesta so i might end up using it i might not we'll see but super dope if you guys are interested i'm sure it's on the website as a matter of fact i will leave a link to amp rides website even if you don't want an e-bike I like to go on websites just to see like what accessories they have. So just check it out. All right, the next thing that we have is a drawstring bag. I love these. This takes me back when I used to play basketball. We always used to have these. All right, the next thing that we have is some armadillos. Now this is gonna be tire sealant. This is kind of like slime, but this is like way better. This is like the industrial version. Ooh, nice. This is what I've been waiting for. Now these are some hydraulic brakes, guys, and you already know which bike I'm putting it on. I'm gonna put them on Leticia because she's going like 40 miles per hour, but uh, that'll be after we paint her, obviously. All right, the next items that we have are some grips. Oh, these are dope. These are like some leather grips, brown leather to be exact. They're the ergonomic kind and, oops, oh. And they're the locking kind. Hold on, I just broke it. <laughs> yeah, they're the locking kind, so it's super easy to install. And yeah, pretty good quality. I like them. The next item in our care package is a water bottle. It's dope. Struggle is real. Comes with a little holder so you can mount it to your bike. That's cool, it's plastic, nice. Gotta stay hydrated for the summer, right? Next we have some touch-up paint. This is probably for the bikes that he's gonna be sending me. Um, they're sending me two bikes this year and I'm gonna get to review them. One of them has a mid-drive, I'm super excited. So be on the lookout for those videos. And then here's a blue, all right, just some touch-up paint. The next item in our care package is a phone holder. All right, here's the phone holder. It came in like three different pieces. I'm gonna have to assemble it, but definitely needed one of these because the last one I had actually broke. Okay, next we have a Rider Race Cycle World. I'm not too familiar with this. I don't know what this is. Maybe a mount of some sort. I don't know, let me know if you guys know what this is. It doesn't really say what it is. But cool, interesting. We'll figure out a use for it, I'm sure. And what else, is that it? Got some stickers, got a keychain. Ooh, nice. I just threw everything in there. So it looks like we have a thumb throttle. This is dope. I'm gonna see if it works on one of my bikes. It'll be interesting. Plug and play too. Look at this. They threw in a rear light and I'm pretty sure this is a brake light. All right, it has four wires on there. That was everything in the care package. Thank you, Amp Rides. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link to Amp Rides in the description down below. I know I was supposed to put on these purple tires on my electric light, but to be honest with you guys, I got some even better news that I think you guys are gonna like. 
way more, okay? Just give me a second, okay? <laughs> Guys, it's official. These are the short folding stems. They're finally here. We only got 100 units. It's time to get this in full motion. Still need to work on the website. I need to make a dedicated video, like an instruction video to show you guys how to install it. So I'll be doing that this week. I'm excited. I'm sure you're excited. So I'm just gonna end the video off like that. If you enjoyed this one, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And until the next video, deuces like that. Yay!